This board right here is one awesome toy to have. It's a self-balancing two-wheel electric scooter, pretty much Segway without handlebars. Now one thing for sure, it's pretty popular. You can see many YouTubers riding it on their channels. It's a Chinese product of course, comes with a manual, charging cord and a unit itself. If you get lucky enough, you can actually get a bag with it, which you can put the main unit in and carry it around. The board is about 27 pounds. It's pretty well built, but it scratches pretty easily, so watch out for that. Max speed is around 80 miles per hour, but I really don't suggest you go in that speed. If you do, Bohr will notify you by the constant beep. Full charge gives you around 15 mile range, which is pretty damn good for a, such a small board. It can carry up to 220 pounds and it takes about 2 hours to fully charge. In order to learn how to ride this board, I suggest in the beginning to lean and get someone or something till you feel comfortable standing straight on the board. So just simply push the button and try to get on the board. Stand on it till you feel safe and relaxed. Then you can move around, lean forward or lean backward. It's actually not that hard to learn. The only hard part about all of this is learning how to balance yourself. Going up or down a hill takes a little bit more practice, but not that hard either. Tires on the board are rubber, not inflatable, so there's no concern for flat tire. One thing I do want you to watch out for are big bumps and holes on the sidewalk and road because it cannot go over everything. Also, watch out for the small rocks because if you hit a rock unexpectedly, you can easily lose control of the board and fall off. Motors are pretty silent and so the board gives you that overall hovering like feeling of the future. The prices for the board vary, you can find a board for 200 up to 600 dollars. If you do interested in buying the board though, try getting the one $300 or up. And plus, check out the company that sells the board. See what kind of warranty they give you and how many boards they sold and what kind of ratings they have. Because you do want to get the board that will last you for a very long time. You don't want to get the board that's super cheap because of this. I had mine for about a year and a half now, and I never had any issues with the board. Now, if you ask, am I satisfied? Was it worth it? Hell yeah, this thing is pretty awesome. I hope you liked the video, subscribe for more content, and let me know in comments what you want to see next. Oh my god, damn. No, I'm really hurt. I don't think I got the whole impact though.